Hey everybody, time for day seven. We're going to move into the lumbar and in the thoracic regions of the body with some rotations and muscle activations today. Um, so uh, we're going to get right to it. We're going to have Ross go ahead and lay on his back. <laughs> oh, you might want to move that blanket. If you guys feel like you need something rolled up under your neck for some neck support, you know, feel free to do that. <sighs> We're actually going to pick up where we left off yesterday. Uh, with the reverse pigeon. So we're going to take the left leg and extend it up to the sky. And we're going to pinky toe flex this foot. That means the pinky toe side of the foot relax. And now flex this way. So take that pinky side of the foot towards the outside of the calf. Bend your knee and place the foot ankle area over your right knee. Uh, that's big toe flex. Flex at the opposite I know. way. <laughs> this can be pretty complicated, but here it is. There's a flex to the pinky toe side, uh, the big toe side, and the pinky toe side. And you can actually just try that back and forth a few times and see what it does to the knee. So, just like you would flex to the pink, big toe side. There we go. Pinky toe so. And then instead of the strap today, we're going to try to lift the right leg up and put your hands behind the right leg. Hold on to the hamstrings and pull that in a little bit and let your legs and hips be heavy, especially that right hip. We want to take the balance of the body and have it come to that balance place there. Feel that? Take a few breaths. If this is too much, go ahead and re-engage your practice with the strap so that that leg can be lowered down a little bit and not have to hold it so close in, but see if you can soften your shoulders, your neck. Keep that pinky toe flex in that foot. Return to that pinky toe flex. Yeah, 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 that's the one. And then go ahead and slowly lower your right leg down until your foot's on the mat again. <sighs> and keep a little light pinky toe flex and rotate to your right side and let your legs fall to the floor until your left foot is on the floor. Very nice. So, uh, in this position, we're going to uh, take your right hand up over your head. We're going to lengthen the side body today with That's this. Right Stretch the left hand. I apologize. Oh my gosh, hi, Sid. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> we have a little guest visitor again. She finds her way in through all of the... Oh, oh dear. I'm going to have another one. They figured out how to get through. I'm going to have you take your left hip and drop that away from your rib cage, And then I'm going to have you actually slowly, a little bit at a time, if you guys can imagine where your kidneys are in the back of your rib cage, right here, the very lower part of your rib cage. I want you to take what muscles you need to move that kidney towards the mat. Go ahead and let your upper arm and shoulder relax to the floor and try to push that left shoulder blade into the floor and then that lower part of the rib cage. If you can, if it's really intense, just a little bit at a time, inch through this and then soften your whole body, soften your legs, soften your hips, let the muscles get out of contraction, find your breath. And then re-engage in the same thing. Hip moves away from the rib cage and towards your right foot, basically. And then you're going to bring that left rib cage closer to the floor by pressing that kidney back into the rib cage. Soften your left shoulder and 
just gently without a lot of over muscling, try to move that left shoulder blade into the floor. Yeah, very nice. Bring your left hand to your ribs, onto your chest. Find a little bit of comfort and slowly bring your legs back up to center. Unwind the spine, lift your leg up, stretch it out, flex and point your foot, get a little bit of relaxation there, and then plant that left foot on the floor. Go ahead and take your right foot up to the sky and practice that pinky toe flex. You can even move to big toe flex. Pinky toe flex, kind of just become familiar with that movie and how, movement and how it feels in the knee. And then take, once you get the pinky toe flex, bend that knee and put your ankle up over your left knee, up on your quad. Yep, very nice. Find your breath. And then go ahead and bring that left leg up closer to the chest and grab behind that hamstring. And again, have your focus, yeah, have your focus be on squaring those hips and having that sacrum flat on the floor, kind of moving yourself towards that left side. The tendency is to move towards the up, upper open knee, but instead we really want to move to that left hip. Find your breath and get a little bit of a stretch and see if you can soften your hips even more into this and let your leg be a little bit heavier. Oh yeah, get that stretch in that lower back going on right now. And then slowly <clears throat> release that hamstring and put your left foot contact with the floor again and slowly rotate yourself to the left side. Bringing that foot onto the floor, bringing your right foot onto the floor. This will be a lot easier for you guys to see if you need to relive this. <laughs> but um, you're going to take the left hip and you're going to move it away and towards the yeah foot of your right foot there. Or your left foot, sorry. So this hip will move towards that foot, yeah. This is lengthening the side body. So if you can, bring this, crunch this in, bring your arm down, bring it all the way to your chest. So here's our side body for now, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is lengthen that away. We're gonna reach our arm up, and now we've stretched the side body a little bit more. And now the crucial part, the real work, is in <clears throat> pulling this away, and then taking this kidney and moving it towards the floor. And so we're lengthening the side body again by rotating the rib cage into place. Soften the left, right arm, soften the armpit, soften that shoulder, and then gently try to pull that right shoulder blade into contact with the floor. <sighs> Your right shoulder blade your right kidney pressing into the floor. And then the crucial part here is softening all the muscles in the body and feeling how that by doing so, you will lengthen that side body even more. It's kind of crazy, but we keep ourselves from doing these things just from our daily routine with stre stress and tension, our actions of having our arms forward all the time, a lot of our actions every day shorten our side bodies. As we open up our ribs, try again to draw that hip down and away. Kidneys press into the floor. Upper armpit, shoulder, arm, soften and relax. And now see if you can soften into this place without much shifting. When you're ready, Go ahead and bring that right arm back to your chest. Give yourself a little loving. <laughs> and slowly bring the legs back up to center. Once 
once you get that left foot planted, extend your right leg up to the sky, point and flex to relax that leg, get it open back up, and go ahead and plant your foot. Turn to your left side or your right side so that you're laying on your, on your side. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and then use your arms to push yourself up to a seated position. And then we're going to find our way to our feet. Take your time. You can sit in a comfortable seat for a second. Take a few breaths. And then when you're ready, you'll want to stand and be towards the back of your mat. We're going to take our left leg forward into a high runner's lunge. Yeah. High runner's lunge is the back leg is not in contact with the mat. And have your spread between your legs be far enough that your front leg is just bent because it's so far away and not because we're moving into that lunge. So just make sure your feet are far enough apart. Then I'm going to have you bring your left arm down to your left knee. And then at this point, I want you to be aware of where your hips are and they're probably opening up to your back leg side. Rotate those hips forward to have a true lunge position. And then I want you to press through your forearm here off of your legs to lift your body and actively tuck your belly button to your spine and send your ribs back to the back of the rib cage. Really nice, super nice. Find your breath. If you want to increase this rotation, go ahead and lift your open side arm up to the sky. Palm facing. Yeah, well, you had it right there. Perfect. <laughs> and, um, and then try to look that direction. Press through that elbow again, belly button to spine, kidneys back, especially that right kidney, right hips forward, right kidneys back. This is just like where we were in that twist on the floor. You can lift your arm all the way up over your head if you want, uh, up this direction, reach up and touch me here, keep it coming. And reach forward, now press, turn and rotate that right hip forward, now press through that elbow, belly button to spine, kidneys back. Kidneys, oh yeah. Now twist open again, look that direction, reach that direction. If you want to increase it even more, take your open hand to the opposite side, to your left side of your rib cage, and actually grab those ribs and open them to that side. Oh yeah. Again, finding that pressure through that elbow that lifts your body, sends your kidneys back and belly button is fine. And then pull that rib cage open to your right side. Nice. Slowly unwind out of this, facing forward in your lunge. Take your right arm and put it on your left knee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you can move back to Trikonasana if you want. Bend forward, open up those hips, take a little stretch in between, that's fine. <clears throat> And then you're going to have that uh, forearm pressing against that knee again. Oh, yeah, and your rib cage now is going to be turning to your left side over your closed leg, which is the one that's forward. And you want to press your belly button to your spine. And now we're going to be pressing the left kidney back into the rib cage here to get that rotation this way. Oh, really nice. And see that in the pressure you have here, soften and relax out of all your contractions, Ross. Just come and sink in, sink down into that. And just by pressing through there, can you get all of this activation to open your belly away from your quads, from your thigh. And if you want more rotation here, you can actually take uh, that right elbow and wrap it around the outside of the knees and press yourself open. Mm. <laughs> You're not going to come in. <laughs> okay, go ahead and slowly step your back foot forward to meet your left. Move back to the back of your mat again. Right now you can reach out, reach up on your inhale. 
Clasp your hands and on your exhale, <sighs> lower your hands to your heart. Nice little reset here. Go ahead and step your opposite leg forward into that high lunge. For Ross, it'll be his right leg. That's great. A little bit farther. Again, I want that lunge to be far enough. We're not really doing, uh, the, the purpose here is to not be working into that lunge too much, but we want a good bend on that knee. Hello. <laughs> so we're here. Now, make sure that back leg hip is moving forward and rotating to meet the front hip. And once we do that, go ahead and bring your right arm down to that knee and practice rooting through the forearm to press open and away. And in, in, in this, keep mindful of that back hip and try to keep it rotated forward. Go ahead and reach up. Reach forward, whatever feels the best to open up. Again, belly button to your spine. And in this particular case, that left kidney back. Oh, yeah. If you want to, reach around, grab that rib cage, and purposefully shift your hips to match and pull that rib cage away and open it up to the left. Pull that rib cage and turn this way. Yeah. I'm not there to hold your hips, so you gotta be really conscious about forcing those into place. Go ahead and switch arms on that knee. You can come up again. Trikonasana. Yeah, you can reach down, send your hips back. Reach open, whatever you need to do. <laughs> and then fall back into that lunge with your opposite arm on, in this case, right knee, left, left forearm, and press yourself open. Belly button goes to the spine. Kidneys shoot back, belly button to the spine, big on this one. Really pull your torso away from your quad without straight, straightening your leg. Really belly button to spine, kidneys kick back into your ribs. Oh, beautiful. And as you take your breaths, just edge that rib cage open to this side a little bit more each time without dropping that front hip. Press through the back foot, ball of the foot to stabilize and secure that and start rotating and opening the hips up. If you want to, again, you can take, um, I'm sorry, take, I'm gonna do the other leg, take the, the elbow to the outside, clench your hands together, even your fist, clench your hands and pull yourself open to the opposite side. Or you can stay right here and press yourself open as far as possible. Go ahead and find yourself upright again, standing on the back of your mat, and reach up, reach up. Find that in-breath on that upswing. Exhale your hands to your heart. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale. Exhale your hands to your heart. This time on your inhale, start your hands reaching towards the floor, and reach your fingertips out as far as you can as you reach up. Clasp your hands together above your body, index fingers upright, thumbs pointing out, touching. Take about three breaths here and pull your upper arms into your ears. And then three more breaths with those shoulders falling down the back and the shoulders moving away from your ears. Pull, actively pull those shoulder blades down the back. Oh, nice. And then exhale your hands to your heart. Hope you had a fun practice today. Thanks for coming. See you tomorrow.